My Phantom 4 Pro has been grounded for quite a while because the GPS continues to lose signal. Even if I start up the uh, propellers on the ground and I try and take off, it will have signal, but once I get off the ground and into the air, it just loses signal every time. Verified the most up-to-date firmware version on both the controller and the drone itself, and the only thing left to do is to replace the GPS module because I believe that that is the faulty part. The GPS is the last piece in the teardown process. So the first thing I've done was I popped out these little end pieces. They look like just a little plastic tip on the end. You press on the bottom towards the top of the drone and those pop out real easy. There's these little LED discs that cover the LED lights on the bottom of the uh, arms under the motors. You don't have to do that part first, but I just did it so I can get it out of the way. The first thing to take off is the camera. So you're going to need a 1.5 millimeter hex bit to take out eight of the bolts holding the camera assembly to the bottom of the drum. Now that we've got all our screws out, you want to gently pry. It's probably better to use a plastic pry tool but you just want to get it loose because there are a couple cables on the underside of this camera housing. We want to make sure we don't mess any of those up. Okay, so it looks like it's going to tilt to the side. We should be able to get in there and get this cable disconnected. I like to try and keep very organized with the parts that I pull off. So if I pull off a bracket and it's got screws with it, I'll set those together so that while I'm reassembling the drone, I know what pieces go with what, where screws go. And it's also nice to take pictures. So as you're taking things apart, just grab your phone and just snap a quick pic. So when you're going to reassemble, you have as much uh, information as possible to understand what parts go where. Now, I think the next step is gonna be, we're gonna take off this bracket that is covering our antennas. These are the little cables that go into our legs. And I need to make sure that when I put those back on, they're plugged into the same sockets. Next step is going to be taking apart the lower shell. So the legs, you don't have to take those apart because we're going to take the entire lower shell off. And to do that, we're going to have to take off all these bolts all the way around. And there are some underneath these little flaps, which you can easily take off with a pair of tweezers. Now the four screws that are closer to the body, like the center of the drone, they're pretty deep in there and the only way to get to them, unless you have an exact um, socket, I think the size we're using for these bolts is a 2.0 millimeter hex. I'm just going to use an angled hex key to get those ones out. Okay, I've taken out all the retaining bolts for the lower shell. We've disconnected the antenna cables from their sockets on the board. And we've extracted the two Phillips head uh, body screws that hold pretty much just this part of the lower shell onto um, the main board casing. So now what we should be able to do is start from the edge of the arms using a pry tool or a pick or something. You don't want to use something metal, especially if you're trying to reuse this case. And it's tricky. 
because these clips connect two different ways uh, along the seam, the top and the lower part of the shells. Be patient. These connectors have little pins on both sides. You have to squeeze them together and then pull it out. Now that we've gotten those disconnected, we can take the bottom shell off and start getting into the real fun stuff, which is these motors are attached. They are soldered to the left and right side board. The only way that we're going to be able to get to the GPS module is by either snipping um, your motor wires on two sides so that we can lift up this whole entire unit and just kind of fold it back. Or if you're good enough at soldering, you can desolder without clipping any wires, which is what I'm gonna do. On the four corners of this big box, there's a screw at four points. It may be covered with silicone, but you need to get those four screws out so we can lift this up a little bit. You gotta prepare the soldering iron. I always use like a little wet, I got a little wet cloth here. Wipe off the tip of it a little bit. And then you're supposed to do something, I think it's called tinning or flashing the tip of your soldering iron and you kind of just let it get hot and you get some solder on the tip there. And then it becomes nice and silver. We want that. Let's begin. There's two plastic tabs that hold the LED in place underneath the motor. I've used my soldering iron to just melt those tabs a little bit so that I can pull those LEDs away. I don't want to cut that plastic away because I'm going to need it to reattach those LEDs later. There is silicone holding these wires to the frame. Just slightly pull that off and you're going to need to desolder the black, the gray, and the white wires. Leave the smaller ones below it. Those belong to the LEDs and we don't have to take those off. And my camera battery died, so I can't really show you me desoldering them, but I did. So I've gotten these two motors desoldered. Our LEDs are free. I should be able to now lift our assembly and just flip it over, just like that, nice and easy. There's our final step, the GPS module. I don't think I mentioned there is a little tab, much like the two we took off, to get the top or the bottom shell off, and it connects right here. Same style of a connection, you just have to pinch the two sides and it'll pull off. I have a brand new GPS module. We'll peel back the shield, we'll take off the old uh, GPS module, we'll replace the new shield, and then we'll start the process of putting it back together, and that's all pretty much the reverse of what we've just done. Oh yeah, the GPS unit itself is pretty self-explanatory. There's just three screws. Take those apart, swap out the module. Replacing the shield is a little tricky because it's very sticky. There are cutouts to help you line it up, make sure everything's snug up against there, and start putting it back together in the reverse order we took it apart and you're good. Okay, now that we've got the drone all put back together, the, the first thing that I need to do is verify all the functionality of the drone. So I'll insert a battery, make sure that it seats in well. So the last thing you wanna have happen is your battery falls out in mid flight. Not, not good. I really wanna just verify that all the firmware um, clears its auto detection with no problems and make sure that all of our motors are working correctly and then we'll take it outside and verify that we can get that GPS lock. Okay, we've got power. We are connecting. Okay, you can see it says latest firmware. Camera's functioning. 
Looks like all of our LED lights are functioning, so that's great. And you can see we're getting some we're getting some GPS even inside the building. That's a good sign. It's bouncing between six and seven, uh, and sometimes eight LOX satellites, so that we're getting some GPS inside a building is a really, really good sign. So the next thing I wanna do, since I did desolder the uh, two of these motors, I believe it's these two back ones, to be able to get to the GPS unit, I just wanna fire up the motors and make sure that we get rotation um, and that would mean that we do have sustainable power to those motors. Take off. And all motors are functioning properly. This is all good news. This is a perfect uh, result that you want to see after you've completely disassembled your entire drone and replaced your GPS module. I need to do some low level testing to make sure that the drone maintains GPS lock, and I'm not gonna get any abnormalities while I'm in the air. First test flight. I've chosen a pretty wide open field. Um, this is like a local park. Isn't very many people around at all. And uh, the wind is light, variable, less than five miles per hour. We got a good 15 satellites with GPS ready to go. If you can see that very well. Compass calibration is complete, no errors. We have 16 satellites locked on. GPS is ready to go. We'll launch, stay at a low altitude, and just verify that the drone is operating correctly. I'm shaking because I'm so cold. Showing no error. Everything's looking good. It's behaving normally. satisfied all right my hands are cold the wind's starting to pick up and I think there's rain coming let's finish this inside okay perfect so uh, it appears as though we have successfully replaced the GPS module and fixed that GPS lock uh, issue that I was having with my drone I wanted to do this video because I know there isn't a lot of information um, online on YouTube anyways about how to fix your drone like that, having that same issue. Hopefully this helps some of you out there who still love your Phantom 4s. Like I think that the Phantom 4 Pro and the whole Phantom series for that matter is one of the best, most balanced uh, drones that, that there is. If this video was useful to you at all, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the new content I post on this channel. I appreciate you so much and we'll see you in the next one.